Hi everybody, Pastor Paul here, and I'm going to talk today a little bit about numbers. You know what numbers are, right? Especially if you've been to school. Numbers help us count things and help us to know how many of things are. We use numbers all over the place. If I asked you how many days there are in a week, I bet most of you know that it's seven, the number seven. If I asked you how many months there are in a year, I bet you a lot of you would know that there's 12 months in a year. You know that there are numbers like, for example, on your birthday, you were born on the 12th or the 15th of a month, something like that. We use numbers all kinds of places. And the church uses numbers too. The church uses numbers. 12 is not only the number of the months, but it's also the number of the disciples that Jesus had and the number of tribes in ancient Israel. We use lots of numbers in our worship. And today I'm going to talk about two numbers in particular. The number one and the number three. What do one and three mean when we talk about it at the church? Well, they're both numbers that describe God. God is one. There's just one God. There's no other God out there besides our God. But God is also three. There are three persons that make up that one God. There's the Father, who makes everything. There's the Son, we call Jesus, who came to earth and lived among us and died for us. And there's the Holy Spirit that is around us to this very day, uh, bringing us together into a church and helping us to do all kinds of good things. So you might ask, how can God be just one, but be three at the same time? And the answer is, I don't really know. Nobody really knows how it happens, but that's the way God is. God is a creator, like the Father. God is someone who saves us, like Jesus. And God is the Holy Spirit that is right among us to this very day. That God helps us to be good to one another, to help each other in all our needs, and to fix and, uh, and create and do all kinds of things in our world. God is three. God is one, and God loves you. Can you say a prayer with me now? Let us pray. Holy God, three and one and one and three, we thank you for making us, we thank you for saving us, and we thank you for being with us. Help us always to show your love for us by showing your love for other people. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. It was good talking with you again. God bless you, and I look forward to talking with you again soon.